Hey everybody, what's up? Brian here with Signature Sound, and in the spirit of Halloween, we're gonna be doing something very spooky today. A ghostly reverse reverb trick. For those of you that already know about this, it'll just be a quick refresher. And for those that don't, this is a great tip to level up your mixes and productions. All right, here we go. So I've got a vocal I've downloaded from Splice pulled up in Pro Tools. You can do this in any DAW. I'm gonna do this demo in Pro Tools since it tends to be the most popular DAW. So I'll go ahead and play this vocal for you. Oh, money's a baggy, you, please. You're making me good in my feels. I need it, please. I need you, boy. I need you over here with me. Ah, ah, give me love and that'll set me free. Give me everything I need. Give me something I can feel. All right, so that's the vocal. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a new track. And then on this new track, I'm just going to take the beginning of this vocal. Um, um, um. I'm just going to bring it down here. I'll go ahead and mute the main vocal for now. And then I'm going to put some fades on here. Put those fades on there just so there's no clicking or popping. And then I'm going to go find a reverb. I'll use a really popular one. I'm just going to go with Valhalla Vintage Verb, but I'm going to crank it way up. No pre-delay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put an EQ after it. Now you can do a lot of different stuff with this. You could put modulation effects on there with the reverb. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but this is just a basic version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a low cut, a high cut. All right, so now that's going to sound like this. Pretty crazy, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and go in here and grab I don't know that much of this. I'll go ahead and commit it. Now I've got this huge long reverb and I'll chop it down here because I don't really need too much of it. I'm going to move this vocal also down here a little bit just so I can give you some of the reverse. In there. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reverse this. And I'm going to find the point. Probably chop it here. Throw some fades on there. So then I'm going to line it up with the main vocal here. Zoom in a little bit. Try to get it lined up really well there. And then I don't want too much of this, so I might even chop it here. And then kind of throw a fade on here. And you don't want it too loud. This is kind of a more background thing while you're bringing it in. So here's what that's going to sound like. And let's say you wanted it even shorter than that, because right now this is maybe a little bit long. If it was an intro to the song, that's cool. But we could also go ahead and cut it down here. And then we can just... Start that fade in right here, and you get. So there we go. That is the ghostly reverse reverb trick. Well, hopefully you guys found that tip useful. Be sure to check back in soon for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'll see you guys very soon.